What's up YouTube and welcome to yet another DC TV show video. So we've got stuff to discuss. There is a very interesting thing that could be happening in the Arrowverse shows. So this image is one of the most iconic comic book, I guess, covers of all time. And it has actually been recreated in the upcoming trailer for the actual episode of Supergirl. Now we know that next week on Supergirl we will be getting a very action-packed episode that will feature Kara facing off against one of her strongest enemies, a kryptonite-powered Metallo, who is a very, very powerful villain. So, this image is just... This could be just a nod to the whole Crisis on Infinite Earths the whole comic event but to be honest it does kind of make sense that crisis on infinite earth does come to the arrowverse however not on the scale obviously as the original because obviously you know it was an insane event but let's theorize what would actually happen if this did come to it so, way back when in the 80s, the DC Comics were having a very, very big problem with continuity because we had the Justice Society, we had the Justice League, and we also had a lot of different origins of many different characters which were updated and changed as times moved on. Now, what DC did, they explained all of these as multiverse. So, each different origin was a different universe and dimension so what did they do they needed to merge them all together so the monitor was the one who looked after all of the multiverse but then he was killed and destroyed by the anti-monitor which seems very simple now before the monitor is actually killed he fuses five earths together in a kind of stasis they can't be attacked and pretty much a all-out war ensues with different versions of Superman, Lex Luthor, etc. And even Brainiac fighting and ultimately almost dying to save the multiverse. And then what ensues is Barry Allen being the only one who is able to destroy the Anti-Monitor and actually stop all this madness and save the world, which obviously led to him not being in DC Comics for quite some time, obviously until Rebirth, and then we got Wally West. Now, all this translates pretty decently because on the TV show, we have a whole multiverse itself. So we've got Earth 1, we've got Earth 2, and then we have Kara, Supergirl's Earth, which I would probably give Earth 3 as a title, but I'm not sure if it actually has officially been given a Earth moniker yet. And also, weirdly, Barry hasn't actually told anyone where he went just yet. So we know that, obviously, alchemy is preparing the Earth. The question is, what is he preparing the Earth for? And could this be that he's preparing possibly every single Earth for a merge or a takeover by a anti-monitor level enemy, which would be very interesting and would be a really cool way to merge all of these shows together. But we know that Supergirl won't be joining the Arrowverse, so it won't be on that kind of level, but it could be that someone is trying to destroy all of the different dimensions. And it would make sense that someone who has such mystical powers would be able to see everything. As we saw, he got to see Flashpoint and also this current timeline, or the current year. Now, the only real way for this to work would be for the Dominators to be people who are trying to destroy the entire multiverse or hop from dimension to dimension, destroying each one. But I think that they're going to stick to the story of the original comic where they come from space and try to take over Earth because they perceive it as a really powerful entity. So I'm not too sure, I'm undecided. It would be really cool to see a multi-dimensional story, but we know that the Thanagars are perhaps going to invade Earth 
in the future, and we learnt that from season one of Legend of Tomorrow. So I don't think we're going to probably get a crisis on Infinite Earth, but I will let you know if things possibly change. So please do drop a like, please do subscribe, and I'll see you soon, and goodbye.